right? Yeah. Okay. And I have a lot, well, I'll talk about my land parts. Now. There's no reason to just the Hmm? Teresa was talking to me. <laughs> I was in this. Well, I'm trying to adapt <laughs> to this process to hand welding. So oh, I see yeah. how the structure is when you throw and how that structure can be adapted to hand yeah. Are you mostly hand building now, Teresa? Yeah, I am. When we store things in it yeah. during the period. So I'm um, using the 11 pounds, I'm going down to within a half inch of the bottom. Hand building, um, I think would be very easy uh, for a lamp. Um, I mean, you've made tall pieces, tall thin cylinders, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember your work. And, uh, See how quietly he can come in the door. Come on in. Come in. Turn. 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 Okay. Sorry. Once again, a woman proves that she's up to the task. Keep opening the door. Can you work here? I know how to close it at the end of the night. I just don't know how to open it. Oh, well, that's all. Learning is important. Continual learning. It's okay. only one side that actually opens to the other side. The other is side's locked. locked. That's, that's what gets you every time. Yep. I know. I always go for the right side. So yeah. this is more like three quarters, but that's okay. Three quarters, okay. Okay, and, and it doesn't really matter. Half to three quarters. I'm going to go down a little bit farther because otherwise it just ends up being too heavy. I'm going to open it up. And then for large pieces, when I throw them, I will start in the middle. There's no rule that says you have to start at the bottom of a piece when you throw, when you bring up the walls. So I start in the middle. And if you think about it practically, Getting the top half up and thinner really helps because I'll do like two pulls on the top half because if you start down here and you start thinning and this is really thick still, it just can't support it. So it, it's a little tricky when you are first doing it to remember where you started. So I'm going to bring a second pull up. I'm throwing up right now. <laughs> You're not Sorry. going to bite that. Um. My, yeah, my father was punny and I can't <laughs> stop. I, fortunately, fortunately, I got his personality rather than my mom's. Um, all right, so then I'm going to go down to the bottom. And the only thing I have to remember when you do this technique, the only thing you have to remember is to, um, when you get to this join, when you get to here, you just have to go a little slower right there, okay? Slower in terms of pulling? Slower in terms or of pulling and pressure. So basically, I just, so I ease it in. Until I can, I can feel it, especially on the inside that there's a ring. Do you lighten up when you go up to the top just so that you're not pulling up too much more? That I start with an awful lot of pressure on the very bottom to get it started. And incrementally, as I come around, basically I, what I tell my intermediate students and advanced students is, and you guys who I've taught will remember this, for every revolution, come up a third of an inch. And as you get, I mean, when you're beginning, you can't really remember that much. But if you try and remember one thing each time and do it repetitively. So I don't really look at it anymore. But I used to watch it and bring my hands up a third of an inch. A lot of pressure at the bottom. And then just come up. And it depends upon the wheel speed. When I'm making a large piece, I throw slower. I, I go slower with the wheel. Okay. 
So now I've pretty much got it even. I'm leaving a nice thick rim uh, here, nice rounded rim, because I'm going to have to bring it in and make a little ring for the vase cap to fit on. And if you notice, I almost always come in at the top because it makes it stronger. Even in architecture, buildings are stronger. If you, if you try and bring your piece up that's just square like this, it's going to come out. But if you come like this, you have more control over this top portion. Even if, if you leave it thick, even if you want it to come out, you've got a lot more uh, control. And it's all about control in my life, as everybody who knows me knows, right? I, I can't decide if I'm a control freak or not. So if I didn't have a list every day, so I guess I am a control freak. What do you guys think? That could just be organized. You can be organizing and then watch. I don't, I don't it doesn't have to have a control no, to it. But you no. can organize it then watch it go crazy. And <laughs> yeah, because right. my kids, I mean, are so loosey goosey that they'll call me half an hour before a movie and say, let's go. And, uh, and you know what? So I learned to organize, but let go. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, so now I'm going to use the rib on the outside, my hand on the inside, and I'm going to bring this out. So the walls are thick, but as I bring them out, they're going to thin. I hear whispering. Think about the wheel is coming this way. So you don't want to hold it in this right. or this or even here. You want to hold it here so it, it has, so you it can really, yeah. Situation. And I do it the same thing on the inside. This hole here in the middle is so nice because I put my thumb in there. And on the inside, I don't have it like this. I have it angled twice, like this and like this. Oh, well, I totally screw up in the inside of things. Mm -hmm. No, it takes time. It just takes it's time. Mm -hmm. What yes, else you got to do in life? You know? Teresa, yeah. you need to quit that day job. It's just for me. No kidding. Okay, so now you come to the important part. So now I've got my I've got my shape. I've got my basic rounded shape. And now you come to what you do for a lamp. And basically this is very thick here. What I do is, and it's hard to see, I guess, is I bring my left thumb in like this and ride this in. Pinch. Yeah. And that's all you really need to do. You need a little groove here. So that's where the most expensive and most unique tool comes in. My half a clothespin. It's a clothespin. <laughs> yes. Yes. A half a clothespin lasts me six years. You cannot get a cheaper tool. Said by the place supplier. <laughs> I know. I, I, I think I'm trying to think. Chick Lloyd was the potter who taught me about uh, half a clothespin, and I use it for everything. So you just put it right here, and that's how easy it is. I try not to make this ring any smaller than this because smaller in terms of the small okay. and diameter and okay. just dig around the bottom and this gives it a really nice bevel on the bottom and it lifts it it and so if you're not going to put a um, if you're not going to put it on a stand this will lift it up and give it especially when it's so rounded lots of height and then the next thing I do is I just choose a place here 
About an inch and a half up with the yep. shrinkage down. Yep. Yeah. When pots shrink, they shrink more in than they do down. Up minimally, but um, and so basically Let's see we trim the other one. But this is smooth enough, and I don't mess with the hole until yeah later. I just poke that in. It'll dry up, and then I will, if I can, get my hand on the inside. But I just make this a tiny bit recessed, just a little bit recessed and smooth. And then I just put my sign on the bottom, and I just let her dry. Um, so that's I basically first. start trimming this. Kind of knock it a little bit to see if it's loose because if I don't do that and it goes <laughs> flying, Teresa would not be happy with me. Land probably on her. And if I wanted, I mean, that's enough. I could just do that. I can also make a nice little decorative. little line there. It's amazing how the oils from your fingers will smooth things out so nicely. And she's done. And what's that chum. portion? You're going to make a what? A chum. There's chucks and there's chums. Oh, okay. Oh. Chuck is a, chuck is the big tall one. Yes. Chuck is, well, a, 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 a <laughs> Define. their inner, okay. One, either a chuck or a chum, one, the piece that you're going to trim goes on the inside, and the other oh. one it goes on the outside. Oh, okay. So you can call this a chuck. I don't really care. It's uh, I did not know that. Yeah. So there are certain forms. So say, one's a male chunker and one's a female chunker. Yeah, I'm making, uh, I'm making chucky. No, uh, <laughs> chuckette. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> but what I wanted, uh, easy for making this one. Uh, so what I'm looking at is I'm looking at how tall this um, neck is, <clears throat> and I'm going to go down here. And after you do this, you can use the clay, but I have to have it wide enough to accept. Uh -huh. So, Harriet, how wide is that? Pretty wide. Why do I always pick on you? What is my issue? I'm eating. I can't answer. <laughs> okay, so now I've got to come up at least as high as that neck and in. And what, what this is really nice for mm -hmm. is you can make those tall, thin bottles with mm -hmm. the real graceful mm -hmm. necks, mm -hmm. and you don't end up messing them up when you're trimming them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collar this in and I'm going to eyeball it and then I'm going to take right here and I'm going to taper this. And this is super important, this taper, because that's going to hold it. And then you take, I heard a sigh. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, I wish I could Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. And yes. then you t put dry cleaner plastic on the inside, and you can use it immediately. Some people will bisque different size chucks. You never have the size that you need. Okay. Yeah, and this way, if I had, if I had 10 of these, and they were all a little different. <clears throat> I would start with the smallest and, or, or the biggest and one way or the other and work my way. It doesn't, it doesn't move around a lot? Not much. It doesn't really move around much at all. And you're still already central. Well, kind of. Except I have to put it in there even. No, it's crooked. It's crooked. You can do that with a... Uh, you know, that grip. Yeah. The grip has the arms on it, so you you could, but you cannot believe how many pots I've lost on the grip that were really tall okay. with their graceful necks. You know. And I think this is it is some ways easier. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I just do that until I get it 
fairly so well centered. So you could centered. take a straight edge on the top and kind of figure uh -huh. it out. You could. You could put a level up there. Mm. Uh -huh. So I think this one, I can't remember exactly how I, how, oh, that breeze feels good. Mm -hmm. How I, um, how <laughs> thick this was on the bottom. But I can take my whole tool and I take my needle tool and I'm going to find the middle. Okay. Put the hole in. And then use my, I don't have my bigger hole tool here for some reason. I, I have one that's um, bigger. Timothy, could you go over and see if you could find a larger hole tool for me over yeah, in the tools? Open it up. Oh. I'm not good at there you go. You want it pretty big. Pretty what? Big. I'm I do. Much. About the same the size. Bottom, it doesn't matter. Because there's a threaded rod that has to go all the way through. Okay. Yeah, there's a threaded rod that on right. these. And that's when you. Are you gonna? Are you gonna um, make a space for them? Mm -hmm. You can, I could indent this too, yeah, good point, I can do that. But once it's really on there with the wire coming down to those bottoms, it's pretty solid on there, isn't it? Between um, the yeah, because you use a threaded rod all the way through, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And but then you, you put that nut on the bottom and then mm -hmm. you tighten it's it the nut. The it, you know, together. you can't discount nuts. What no. is that song? I'm a nut. I'm a nut. Yeah. And so bottoms made for lamps are purchased at like lighting. I have a, a yes, I have a nice. catalog over there from De Sherbabin. Oh, okay. Sherbabin. Uh, they're in Connecticut. I usually go down there because wow. it's just so much fun to go oh, through their yeah. warehouse and see thousands of pieces. But I mean, you can go to your hardware store. They have lamp kits. Yeah, they'll have. I lamp think lamp Michaels lamp or <clears throat> Michaels or what's Lowe's that other place? Or Lowe's or Joanne. maybe Joanne. Joanne's or AC AC Moore. That's where I use. We'll go, and a lot of times they can order them for you. What is the name of the place your catwalk comes from? The Sherbinen. Uh, it's right there okay, behind so Timothy. Right, thank you, so this, so this is done. Basically, it's Beautiful. it's finished, and it's very thick. So I think I'm going to cover it in plastic, and I'll probably do a lot of <clears throat> carving on it in my extra time.